Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. In the house that love is building, there is room enough for all. Endless welcome in her rafters, mercy singing through her walls. Here is refuge for all people from every tribe and tongue. In the house that love is building, there is room for everyone. In the garden love is tending, there's a great and boundless feast. Where the seeds of hope are planted, and the yield is heaven's peace. As the field becomes a harvest for the many hungry ones. In the garden love is tending, there is room for everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, God loves us so much. We all of us are beloved sons and daughters of God. Today God tells each one of us, observe what is right and do what is just. As we have gathered here to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the grace of God. Thus, we may increase our faith in God to do the will of our Heavenly Father. Before we participate in this holy sacrifice, let us acknowledge our sins, our failures, our shortcomings, and so prepare ourselves to serve this sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you. you. We, we bless, bless you, you. We, we adore, adore you, you. We, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks you for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, Heavenly King, King, our God, Lord, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Lord, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you, Good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and ever all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain 
and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to these Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the re reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To you, o Lord. At the time 
Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord of Jesus Christ, through the Gospel. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, God's love is for everyone. He loves each one of us and He is always with us. In our journey of life, many a time, we fail to recognize how God does a lot of wonders in our life. In the first reading, Prophet Isaiah telling each one of us, the Lord says, observe what is right and do what is just. When we see around the world today, we see Lots of confusion, misunderstanding, conflicts, wars. There is no peace. In this time, we are called to do the same as the Lord says, observe what is right and do what is just. How can we stand today for truth, justice and peace? How can we bring today in this world peace, justice, and God's love? By the followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to do the same every day in our life. We see people are in fear. They are panic because of so many calamities, so many wars, conflict. In that moment, as we hear today's first reading, calling us to do what is just. And the Lord says to each one of us, thus all the prayers, all the offerings, all the sacrifices you offer, I will hear, I will grant. So we need to understand the God who loves us so much, Every day in our life, He is inviting each one of us to spend time in prayer. In the first reading, tells us, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And God promises each one of us. In the prophet Isaiah reminds us, We need to know that our God hears all the prayers and he responds when we call upon his name. He is ready to answer our prayers and ready to respond when we call his name. How often in our life we pray to God. How often we call out the name of the Lord as he promised each one of us, I will respond and hear your prayers. 
and we need to know that our God is in us, within our heart. But how can we make ourselves, Lord, you dwell in me, but sometimes I fail to recognize your presence in my life because sometimes I am lost. Sometimes I go after this world and I fail to recognize you. Sometimes I blind myself. I fail to see the good around me. But Lord, help me. As in the second reading, St. Paul reminds each one of us. We know St. Paul was a Jew. But after accepting Christ in his life, he said, I am the apostle of Gentiles, which means he goes around everywhere, all the people around, all the nations, and proclaims the good news. He proclaims the experience that he had in Jesus Christ. He says the people, his own race, Jew, they failed to believe in Jesus. So he says, I am the apostle of Gentiles in order to make jealous of my own race that they fail to accept, fail to receive Christ in their life. So today you and I are also called to go and witness Jesus' love. The, we all know that we all of us, every day in our life, we experience his love, his mercy, his forgiveness, and today, we are all of us called to give it to the people around, to bring peace, justice, truth. When you see the gospel of the day, it is very much touching the faith of the Canaanite woman. Jesus also goes the region of Tyre and Sidon. This is northern part of Palestine. We know Jew and Canaanite people, they don't go together. And because of that, but Jesus knew that his work, he is sent by the Father. We know in the letter to the Timothy, we read, God's will, all must be saved. This is what God wants every Man, every people, every nation, every race, everyone has to be saved, and it is through Jesus Christ. And because of this, we have to understand how Jesus has mercy on Canaanite woman when she came before Jesus and she pleaded to Jesus. She knew that Jesus would heal her daughter. When she approached Jesus, said, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. Which means she knew that Jesus is the Messiah and he is descendant of Abraham. Because of in that faith, she comes to Jesus and pleads, saying to him, Lord, have pity on me. And he knew that Jesus will heal her daughter as she says my daughter is tormented by a demon in the beginning we see it seems that jesus did not mind her but he knew the inner faith of her even disciples they were thinking why jesus is not telling her anything as disciples even they told to jesus Lord, send her away. She keeps bothering to each one of us, following us. But Jesus knew in her faith what she needs. She just came. Thus, Jesus will heal her daughter. And she says, Lord, help me. How often we tell to the Lord today, Lord, help me in our time of difficulties in a time of troubles. How often we say, Jesus, help me. Lord, help me. Whenever we come to Jesus, whenever we ask Jesus, 
to help he is ready to do the same jesus knew the faith of the canaanite woman and he says woman great is your faith let it be done for you as you wish today jesus wants to tell each one of us the same word that jesus told to canaanite woman when you pray to him when you come to jesus in faith let it be done to you as you wish so dear brothers and sisters as we have gathered here let us pray to jesus with faith and call out the name of jesus lord help me surely he will have mercy on us surely he will hear our prayers and all that we need will be fulfilled by the grace of holy spirit by the grace of almighty father by the help of our lord jesus christ so we need to know we need to come to jesus and pray in faith so let us today ask god to increase our faith as we celebrate this holy sacrifice let us now profess our faith i believe in one god God of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consumption with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, out of the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon his Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, which has the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus heard the prayer of Canaanite woman who came in faith. As we have gathered here, let us offer all our prayers and petition to our Heavenly Father in our faith and trust. That the leaders of the church will help to make their church communities into houses of prayer which welcome all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the nations of the world will do all in their power to break down the barriers of division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the terminally ill, and those who are grieving the loss of a loved one will find comfort in their faith during their time of trial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of our parish community will help to heal the divisions and wounds caused by prejudice and injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all of those who are on vacation may return refreshed in mind and body and renewed in spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will soften the hearts of all those who are filled with hate into hearts full of love for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of our brothers and sisters will be treated as our equals in the sight of God, regardless of their race, color, nationality or religion we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that all of those who have contracted the coronavirus will be healed that those who have died will be welcomed into the loving arms of their savior who suffered for them and that their grieving families will find strength in their faith we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer 
for the departed souls of the faithful, especially for Joseph Zoldi, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may live forever in joy in the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold in our hearts and which we now recall in silence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and merciful Father, hear the prayers of your faithful, which we have present before you in faith and trust, and all those prayers we hold in our hearts. Grant them according to your holy will. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted of God Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice of a once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gates of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts Heaven and earth are full, full of your Oh! 
comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the light that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given now for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. We proclaim. your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Joseph, for whom this Mass is being offered, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, Saint John Bosco, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 
at the serious command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Kingdom, the power of glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the risen Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who were in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die are grateful for the gift. Thankful for his love.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his cohorts in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God whose love has gathered